Hey everybody, Joseph here, welcoming you to another Stukent Expert Session. Today we have the pleasure of hearing from Sarah Emerson. Sarah is a senior associate at Red Ventures, leading paid search across multiple sites on their financial services vertical, including creditcards.com and the points guy. She has been working at Red Ventures for over five years and has made an impact on more than 10 teams across all major search engines. We're so excited to have you on today, Sarah. Take it away. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Today we're going to talk about ad copy strategy depending on whether you're driving to clicks or to conversions. The first step is to set your goals. Understanding the potential outcome of each strategy and determining what aligns with your business. Second, we'll level set on some ad copy best practices that should hold through regardless of the business objective. Then we'll look at how to adapt those best practices to your specific goals. Jumping into goal setting, before starting to write any ad copy, consider what your business goals are and which part of the funnel you are trying to drive to. Click volume could be the correct goal if you are looking to drive a large amount of volume at the top of the funnel. These types of ads will get lots of eyes to your site, which can promote brand recognition. You'll also drive higher expected click-through rate, which is a component of quality score. Conversion volume is a good goal to have if you're aiming for lower marketing cost, want to limit traffic to only high intent users, and if your business is looking to drive higher ROAS. Now that you've set goals, let's talk about basic ad copy best practices that will set your foundation for success. The first and possibly most important best practice is to stuff your ad copy with references to the keywords you're targeting. By ensuring that the keyword, and therefore the customer search term, is in your ad copy, you increase your ad relevance. Ad relevance is one of the three primary components of quality score, which makes this a major lever to increase ad rate. While a single piece of keyword stuffed ad copy is a step in the right direction, you'll also want to utilize a portfolio of differentiated ads. This gives the engine the ability to serve the best ad for each individual auction and ensure that the right person sees the right copy. You can utilize as many pieces of ad copy as makes sense for your business, but ensure that they are all different from each other. Part of your portfolio should include multiple ad formats. Both of the major search engines have two primary ad copy formats to choose from, responsive search ads and expanded text ads. Utilizing both ad types in your portfolio will ensure that you're eligible for as many options as possible. The final best practice we're going to talk about is to utilize brand voice whenever possible. Your ad should be authentic to your brand and have similar tone to your landing pages or other marketing channels. This builds trust with your customers and lets them know what to expect from the sales journey. Now we're going to go through a couple of examples of ad copy that utilize these, these best practices. In these ads, you'll notice that the customer's search term is in headline one. This makes your ad immediately stick out as relevant for the searcher and will encourage them to click on your ad. You'll also notice components of the search term throughout the ad. In the body of the ad, as well as in extensions, which aren't shown here, any components of the search term will be bolded, further drawing the, the customer's eyes to your ad. You'll also notice that while the first headline is the same for both of these ads, the second headline and the description lines are different, appealing to different types of customers. Now that we've seen best practices in action, let's talk through adapting these best practices for your specific business goals. When your primary goal is to drive click volume, your ad copy should be a very low barrier to entry for your searcher. One of the ways to do this is to utilize limited time messaging. This drives urgency that the customer must click now or else risk missing out on an offer. Another way to drive urgency is to prominently display special or exclusive offers in your copy. Not only does that make the customer want to click now instead of later, it'll also drive them to check out your site before going to a competitor's. One of the biggest hurdles for a customer to get over is the price of a product or service. When your goal is to get the customer to click to your site, always use the lowest price point available. Finally, use soft language as much as possible. Encourage customers to click on your ad to compare products or to learn more about what you have to offer. This makes them more comfortable with the first click, knowing that you're not necessarily pushing them to convert right away. Let's look at how our ad copy changes when we're aiming for high click volume. 
you'll notice that our basic best practices are still here. We still have keywords throughout the ad copy, and we're still using multiple differentiated ads. Where we see the ad copy differ is in the tone and in the value propositions that are being displayed. Here you see a low starting price point, free additional services, and urgency messaging around holiday shopping. We're creating FOMO, fear of missing out, and encouraging that click to site. Shifting gears, when your primary goal is to drive customers that are highly likely to convert, you should utilize ad copy as a way to qualify your leads. You only want customers to click on your ad if they are ready to convert. One of the easiest ways to do this is to reference the conversion in your copy. By using phrases like order today, you're setting the expectation for the searcher that your site should be used to make a purchase. Focus on the benefits of the service or product that you want for them to convert on. By priming the customer ahead of time, you're guiding them to the conversion before they even make it on site. One of the key differentiators you'll see in conversion-centric copy is a higher price point. This sets the expectation for the customer upfront. If they are popular products that are more likely to be converted on or fees that the customer is required to pay, include this in any of your ad copy that references a price. Remember, the goal here is to, is to ensure that once the customer makes it to your site, they are already prepared for the final transaction. Finally, make sure you're utilizing a highly transactional landing page. While this isn't directly related to the ad copy itself, the landing page you choose is imperative to your success here. The barrier to entry in this strategy should be the ad, not your landing page. Let's look at how our ad copy changes with these adaptations in mind. Again, you'll see references to the search term throughout the ad copy and a variety of distinct ads. In addition to that foundation, you see the focus on the quality of the service, the friendliness of the staff, and other key differentiators. You also see a higher but more realistic price point for what a customer should expect to spend on a bouquet. To tie everything together, make sure that you know what your primary objective is before you write any ad copy. Always use best practices when writing your ad copy to ensure that your cost per click is as low as possible. When aiming for high click volume, utilize flashy messaging and low price points to drive urgency. And lastly, when striving for users that are likely to convert, focus on the benefits of your product or service, advertise realistic pricing, and use the most transactional landing page possible. All of this together will ensure that you have the most successful search marketing campaign possible.